We're here at the 2024 Orange County Open with Cole Abate. Cole, what have you been up to today here, at, here in Orange County? Yeah, so uh, came here today. This is right down the street. So, of course, we got a, a big turnout from the AOJ team. So uh, today we had the uh, adult competitors from the juveniles as well. And then uh, tomorrow will be the kids team. So just coming here, feeling the energy. Uh, feels always feels good to be, uh, be, around, uh, be around the team. And, uh, of course, get to, get to coach the students. So It's a really big time for AOJ. You guys just opened the Mission Viejo Academy. I know you're doing some teaching there. So tell me about that academy and your role at the new AOJ. I mean, yeah, it's a, I mean, looking at it now, I think it was a work in progress, but it was work worth the wait. And uh, I know it was many years in the works, but I'm glad that I'm finally a part of this. And uh, it's, it's a dream come true. I mean, you, you go there and you feel like you're, you're at a museum. It's the, it's the Apple store of Jiu-Jitsu Academies. That's what uh, a couple of people have been calling it. But uh, no, it's, it's been great so far. The academy is growing really quickly. Uh, my classes have been great as well. So I'm teaching there a couple times a week um, uh, with, the, with the Nogi class. So I run pretty much all the Nogi classes at the academy and I'm kind of back and forth between both locations right now. So it's been a, been a fun kind of adventure so far. So you made a post recently announcing that you're going to compete in the featherweight division at the Worlds. I think a lot of people were thinking like you would either do light or featherweight, but featherweight is always super stacked, so everyone's really excited about that. What went into that decision to go with featherweight instead of lightweight? Yeah, so I'd say these last couple of years, it's been kind of seeing how my body was going to, going to grow. Uh, I'm still very young. I'm still 19 years old, so that could, that could change in the next few years too. Um, but yeah, so I competed at ADCC and that was 66 kg and we kind of had that in mind after I won the trials there. So uh, we wanted to keep my weight kind of low. So I was going to do a big weight cut to make that. But uh, throughout that year, I was kind of just focusing on building my body and filling out the, the weight division. So in the IBJJF competitions, you guys saw me uh, at brown belt competing as a lightweight, but I actually won worlds as a purple belt uh, in the featherweight division. So that was, that was kind of towards uh, ADCC and in between that, that kind of time frame. So uh, it was a, a filling out period, but uh, I think uh, we ended up deciding, deciding on featherweight just based on my body. I'm, I'm a big featherweight. I, I definitely don't walk around at that weight. So it's, uh, I have, have my diet down. I've got a nutritionist with, uh, with Natalia Chantry. So I've been working with her since ADCC and she's helped me uh, throughout the whole process. But I think the decision to go with uh, featherweight is because we've got pretty much somebody in every division right now. There's somebody at Roosters, one in light feather, nobody in feather, and then light and middleweight are covered. So why not have, uh, have one more person dominating in a division that we don't have just yet? And uh, I think it'll be a, a really, cool, really cool phase for me because I feel like I'm trying to fill in Professor Hoffa's footsteps. I feel like the last almost 10 years, ever since 2016, his last world championship, every year has almost been a, a different, different winner, right? And I feel like that's, of all the divisions, that's one of the most open ones. And I feel like I can bring a change to that. And the goal is to be consistent and uh, rack up titles there. So my goal is to be the next consistent featherweight world champion and compete uh, for as many years as I can and just build my legacy just like my professor did. So That's exactly what I wanted to ask you next. Since 2018, there hasn't been a repeat champion. Mm -hmm. So yes, the division is very open in that sense, but also it's, it's very competitive. <clears throat> yes. There's a lot of really high level guys. Mm -hmm. When you look at that featherweight division and you anticipate who's going to be in that division for Worlds, mm -hmm. who are some of the names that you, you would love to test yourself against? I mean, I always say that, uh, that I want to be the best and to be the best, you got to beat the best. So the world champion is uh, Samuel Nagai, so that would be a, a great match. I know uh, Isaac is another big name. Kenny's been winning a lot of big competitions. Uh, Fabricio, I'm not sure if he's going to be competing in this year. I know I saw something about uh, maybe he'll be out of this year's event, but and there's so many names. You could go on and on, um, but uh, I want to put my name up there, and I want to be the leading person there and, and show that there's a level difference. So that'll be my goal uh, with this season, uh, especially because this is my rookie year as a black belt. So I, I got my, my black belt last year. Didn't get to uh, get to compete in many of the major tournaments because it was the end of the year. And uh, now we're getting to start out um, with, uh, with this next tournament uh, at Worlds. I'll try to do one competition before that, just kind of get warmed up and uh, fill out that division before we actually go into the World Championship. But uh, the plan is to have a legendary rookie year. So let this go down as, as one, uh, one that'll be remembered forever. And uh, I see my professors and, uh, and how they competed in their first year at Black Belts, and that's, that's truly inspiring. So I look to follow in their footsteps and have one that people can remember for, for many years to come. Well, it was great catching up with you. Thank you so much for your time. We can't wait to see you at the Worlds and any other tournaments you plan to compete in. Thank you.